Hey, what's up? My name is Danny Mullen. I am making this video to review some side projects, um, NVPs, prototypes, or just any kind of uh, project that somebody's working on. And uh, I actually posted on YouTube recently, hey, I'd be willing to check out people's projects, record it, see how it goes. A side, uh, side note on that. So I am a uh i am no one special i don't really have specific training in user experience or uh user design i am an entrepreneur so i think i have a basic understanding of 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 some things but just consider me and my review as as a general user i don't really know anything special there may be more qualified people to evaluate your project but i think it's pretty fun if i uh jump in and just uh you know, give you feedback as a general user. I'll try to be playful and, and uh, but respectful. I'll, I'll tell you what I think, um, and we'll kind of go from there. But uh, I did want to read through the uh, some some submissions that came through, just kind of show you guys. I got a few more submissions than I was anticipating, if I'm completely honest. So this might uh, be a longer video than than I had planned, but you know, let's kind of let's have some fun. I think if you guys want to try these apps as well these links and give them feedback that would be great i will be tweeting them as well great job or sending them a message and if you want to you know try it out as well i'll be posting the links to this video in the in the description of the video let's kind of um uh just kind of set the scene here so i just posted on on side project a subreddit and I said, hi, my name is Danny. I've been a lucky here for years, which is true. I had an idea. Uh, people spend so much time making their projects and rarely get feedback. I thought I'll just try your projects and record it. I'm honest, but playful and respectful. It's for free and for fun. If you're interested, DM me. So um, I did also get uh, quite a few DMs with projects. Uh, I'm not trying to put anyone on blast. So, uh, but you know, I've got, I've got some DMs here. Uh, and we will check those out also. Uh, just kind of full disclosure, I do have my own project as well. I'm not here really to plug it, but I will use it. Um, I uh, I think that's important to share because I might understand similar experiences you're going through. Uh, although, I'm, like I said, I'm not really here to plug my side project. I have a very specific target audience I'm after, and they're probably not uh, the side project crowd. Um, although I do appreciate if you if you want to try it out, but like I said, I'm, I'm just using it to organize myself right now. So uh, essentially, this is going to be episode two. Some things I'm going to try are paytable.io, uh, everyhour.xyz. Uh, then somebody posted a game, which I thought was cool. Uh, somebody posted answerly.io. Somebody posted inmote.com, marketfly.io play uh somebody else posted a, a game from a google play store uh i might not be able to get to that one if i can't test it i, I might check out the google listing but you know since i can't really play it uh reviews.cli.dev um oh it looks like we have another game as well um i don't know that maybe one of them was a game one of them was an app i can't remember i got so many submissions uh, and then I got not notified.so. I'm excited to try that. And then pistacop.github. Yeah, if you guys want to post your GitHubs as well, maybe. Um, I think that's actually a distinction I want to make. So I think people think that they can only send me finished products. No, send me your work in progress. If it's half baked, you know, I can, and it's something I can still try, send it my way. Uh, this is definitely like you know, from the idea stage to the MVP and all in between. But uh, so that that's the things I'm going to try in this episode. Uh, uh, I will probably spend five to if it was less. I might spend 10 to 15 minutes on it, but, you know, uh, I'll probably have to spend like five minutes or so per project. That way, this video isn't super long because I want to get these people their reviews back. But also, you know, um, I want to kind of try and keep this positive. If you have constructive criticism, add it in the comments. Tell them that you tried it as well and what you liked and what you didn't like. Uh, none of this bullshit online uh, being super negative. No, you know, no, no, no unfair 
or unreasonable criticism, um, you know, I, I think that I want to keep my channel pretty positive. So let's uh, let's kind of get started on uh, this first uh, this first project. All right, let's move on to the next project. Again, I have no idea what I'm about to jump into, so bear with me. This is called Every Hour XYZ. Right, AKA every hour. And it says improve your life balance every hour. Time is the most valuable asset. How do you spend it? Every hour is the easiest way to record how you spend your time. Pause. Okay, so I'm thinking journaling, some kind of journal thing based on that sentence. Start now, it's free. No credit card needed. Featured on Product Hunt with 175 upvotes nice for you we got some testimonials here time tracking apps felt like they okay so i know it's a time maybe a time tracking app because this person said time tracking apps felt like they required more effort than i was saving every hour is different this person says every hour has helped the more find more hours in the day stay on top of uni Ooh, only british people call it uni and be mindful of how I spend time. It keeps me accountable and allows me to honestly reflect. Reese, undergraduate. Yeah, it's done. Jake says, it has done what I needed it to do. I now have a completely different routine to how I start my day. I would love to see if I can write a review, but maybe I can, maybe I can't. Okay, so let's just track your time by easily dragging chunks of time into custom pots. So is this, can I, okay, this is, my, this is like a featured screen. I'm guessing, write a quick summary of your day. So it's like a, you can drag and drop, that's cool. That's what it looks like on a mobile. Analyze your online and offline targets and take charge of your life balance. I feel like this looks awesome, but like this dark background is like fucking me up. It's uh, my eyes. I don't know if it's just my eyes, but like it, it's fucking me up. Last seven days, my weekly targets. Oh, okay. Want to see what you really prioritize in your life? Start correcting your life balance. Want to learn more? What's coming up? What's coming? Got a feature request? Ideas coming completed? Oops. Nope. I want to come back. I don't know what this is. Oh, what's Trello? Maybe I doubt this will work for you. I write about tools, tactics, and tips to improve life balance without the bull. What does that mean, without the bull? Without the bullshit? Say it. If you're going to say bull, say bullshit. All right? Let's just be, let's just be. So how do I? All right, start now. It's free. Let's go. First name is the same, oops, first name, Danny. Oh, Danny spoke with a D in case you were wondering. My email is mytodolist.com and my password is this. I have read and agreed, haha, <laughs> just kidding. I like you, that's how I never remember. All right, each hour is a choice. Why track, each hour is a choice. Sleep, family, running, we tend to make decisions unconsciously. When you track time, you can't. What do you do with your time? I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to click on this? Am I supposed to click? No. No clicking. There will be no clicking on this page. There's no clicking. There's an arrow here. Let's do that. Okay. So, so I'm supposed to click on the arrow. I didn't know that was over here. This background is tough. Background is tough. What do you do? Question mark. Scroll and pick 10 or more things you do. I have picked five for you. I do sleep. Uh, I do have family time. I do have work. That's kind of fun that you picked those for me. Kind of like that. Um, partner working out. I do not work out. But fun work. Let's choose fun work. Grim work. I don't know what grim work is. That's funny though. I like how you distinguish between work, fun work, and grim work. That's fucking, I love that. I already like the person that made this. 
and I know who you are. Jogging, definitely don't do that. Studying, nope. Side project, hell yeah. Course one, I don't know what course one is. Dissertation, admin. Oh, we can scroll down. Admin and chores, food time. Yeah, I do a bit of food time. Um, I definitely do some browsing the web. Definitely do YouTube, okay. I kind of like these subjects though, they're interesting. But sports, watching sports, doing sports volunteering I like this okay let's start tracking don't worry you can create and edit pots later pots are tough I um, am no expert here but like I don't like the word pots I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there find a sexier word for pots um, Saturday July that's it this is the date okay so now what am I supposed to do? I can click on these, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. Edit pot details. Pot name, friends. Pot type. Pick your pot type. Uh, friends are... Friends are... I don't know what friends are. Social. Pot color. Okay. Nice. Let me choose the pot. Color. I don't really care. There's a U in color, so it tells me you're British, which supports the my hypothesis. Pot target, eight hours per day. Oh, so friends, how many hours a day do I want? Zero, no, just kidding, one. Just kidding. Oh, but I can choose a month. Okay, so I wanna say four hours, four hours a month. Hide pot, to unhide, no, I don't wanna hide it. Update. Okay. So now that it says target, forgot to record family time. Okay. So starting so starting from midnight, what have you done today? Uh, Fifteen minutes. Oh, this is where I can drag and drop. So I drag. So I did 15 minutes of friends today. Ah, okay. So I drag and drop this. I did I did one hour of fun work. And then I did two hours of, no, let's be real. I did fucking eight hours of browsing the web. For sure. Yeah, I probably did 16 hours of browsing the web. It's Saturday, baby. Oh, I should have really chosen YouTube. I did eight hours of YouTube. I do eight hours of YouTube every day. I'm um, doing side project right now. I'm recording a video, so let's do side project. This is cool, this is fun. Now what do I do? So that's me, I guess. Okay, so it's now moved into Sunday. It's now moved into Sunday. So, so when you get, when you, so you can't really lie. You can't really lie. I did, I did eight hours of YouTube. And then I did another, how many hours do I have left? And I did another six hours of YouTube. And then I did um, three hours of this, you more YouTube. And I did two hours of food time. That's probably my fucking weekend, typical weekend. So as you fill up to the edge of here, it goes into the next day. So I have one hour left. Let's throw one hour into some family time. Then it moves into, okay, so that's cool. So that moves, that moves as you fill up. Very cool. Fuck yeah. All right, why am I excited to do this? So this is where I'm at. I think I'm already at track. Am I at track? Let's go to analy analytics. Ooh, year remaining, 43% my monthly target, a minimum of four hours of friends. Interesting, okay. I think I've screwed up the data because I was stu being stupid. Um, Okay, that loads and goes away, but let's have a look here. Last seven days, last month, all time. You seem to be playing with me, coming and going. What's this? Show months, show pots, show percentage. I can't tell if this is my computer being weird or that just is being weird. Your aggregated time. Interesting. Okay, so then, so, so, 
that's pretty cool. I like that. It's really a unique way of, this is a really unique way of doing it. I've never actually seen it be done like this before in any apps. So great job there. What problem are you solving? Um, I forgot. Uh, tracking hours and being productive, I guess. How do I, let's log out and reread. What problem? Every Improve your life balance every hour. Time is the most valuable asset. So the problem you're solving is it's wasting time. Or, yeah, wasting time. And the solution is use every hour to track your time so that you don't waste time. So that's the problem you're solving. Who's your target audience? I would imagine, um, well, everyone, but that's not a good answer. So let's figure out people that are really time sensitive. So could, um, could a uh, university student, I see some of the testimonials here were CEO and student and developer. Those are pr probably pr three very busy people. Um, you know, definitely, definitely, uh, you know, something fun for a student. One of the th questions I have though is like, is how long does this take me to do? Because then am I spending all day? Like, do I come back every hour to this to record that I did it? Or do I like come in at the end of the day and do a summary? Um, and then if I do a summary, do I remember everything I did to be accurate? I don't know. Um, I prob I doubt I would use this on like an hourly basis. Well, it fucking is called every hour. Um, so are you saying I need to do this every hour or you're just saying account for every hour? Um, but it's a great tool. It looks great. I, I'm struggling with the background. Have to be, have to sh throw you some love, but I've got to say the background is tough for me. That could just be me and my general preference, but that background is tough. Looks like, uh, uh, you posted on product hunt, which is great. Let's check you out on Twitter and um say great job uh let's let's find out who did this looks like his name's alex let's tweet alex let's tweet alex and say great job alex with what the fuck was it every every hour dot xyz yeah great job with Every hour dot X, Y, Z. You going to give me the preview? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Great job. Um, we'll post video soon. So if you have uh, any feedback or, or you think you would enjoy what Alex has made here, you know, definitely check out every hour dot X, Y, Z. Looks like a fun little tool to keep track of every hour. Um, you know, I, I don't think I would use it every hour, I don't know that I'd want to come back to it. Maybe if I'm already at my desk all day, it would be something I would do. But I would probably look at something like this and say, can I summarize at the end of the day? That's probably just me. You know, you may have had a different vision for it. But I think it's, it's a well made product. And it was actually pretty fun um, to use. So, uh, you know, I liked the suggestions of, of topics, and they were kind of fun, playful. Um, maybe one of the other suggestion I'd have for you, Alex, is like figure out who really uses it a lot and then tailor some of the suggestions to them. That would be more like if you're, if you're a CEO, how can some of those suggestions, like if, if you're tailoring the whole thing to like a specific target demographic, and in this case, as an example, let's say you wake up and say, I want every CEO in America to use every hour dot XYZ, then you can tailor your suggestions to like CEOs and, and their life and what, you know, would be kind of fun or quirky or interesting um, in their life specifically. But because it's still kind of a generic tool, you're using generic terms. Um, and, and some of them were still playful, but, you know, maybe maybe that's something you can consider. But overall, great, great work, uh, a great, great app. And uh, would love to kind of see how this progresses. So let's tweet you right now. Good job, Alex. All right, so this next game.
Okay, so this next game was sent to me called Drop Ball Game. Sound on. Okay, let's play. Classic, work your way through the levels to achieve your place on the leaderboard. Okay, let's do classic. What do I do? Oh, fuck. Play again. <laughs> I lost already. What did I? What was I supposed to do? One ball to solo. One ball to rule them all. Let the wrong colors just fall to the ground and grab the correct ones. So like. Oh okay. Play again. What am I supposed to do? Match the colors? I don't fucking know. Oh okay. I think I'm supposed to match the colors. Play again. Match the colors. Yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. I'm not good at games. God damn it. All right, but now I understand what I'm doing. One ball to rule them all. So, I guess... What the fuck? Play again. So, match the colors, Danny. Come on, you can figure this out. Red. Light, blue. Blah, blah. Damn it. This is fucking hard. This is hard. I'm also, I also suck at video games, so just FYI. Uh, it's gonna fall black. Black. Red. Black. Ah, oh, shit! Fucking god damn it! Okay, I suck. I'm so sorry. Uh, there we go. There, oh, god! I'm gonna get this. I need to make this a good video. Don't hate me. Blue, blue. Black. Blue. Red. Blue, black, red, blue, the, ooh, all right, got to level two, how about that, fuck yeah, this is a pretty fun game, um, I think what would be pretty fun is if other people maybe comment or like share what score they got, I don't know, that'd be kind of fun, all right, so relax Danny boy. That's gonna work, that's gonna work, that's not gonna work, that's gonna work, that's not gonna, uh, there we go. Ah, I'm getting it now. Ah, okay, so I'm not so bad at games, I'm still pretty bad. But, let's do one more level and then, uh, it's pretty fun. I mean, I'm not huge into games, but this is pretty fun. Uh, seems to be pretty well made. Uh... Fuck! Alright, I got to level 3. Let's check out the leaderboard. Game center and the other leaderboard. Share score. Can I share score? Oops. Let me, uh... I'm going to share the score. Uh, let's go. Let's share Twitter. And then what was the name of the person that made it? That's what I want to see. What was the name of the person that made it? Apperfect Limited. Do you have a Twitter account, Apperfect? Any chance you have a Twitter account? Let's tweet. Fuck yeah, it's a cool game. Uh, I'm not that good at games, so it's kind of like, you know, um, but it was fun. I mean, what I think would be really cool is if other people in the comments post, uh, you know, tweet what their high score is and we'll kind of see how, what other people thought about it. Um, I wished there was someone I could tweet. But yeah, great great game. I like it. Um, be glad to see how the game progresses.
All right, next up we have Ansley.io, kind of a cool looking name, cool sounding name. Um, pretty simple website so far. What is Ansley? Ansley is a fast on the spot answers for your customers. So uh, deliver the help your customers need with the Ansley knowledge base and embeddable widgets. Ooh, embeddable widgets. That's a fun word, embeddable. Embeddable 14 day free trial, no credit card needed, upgrade anytime. So it's a bundle of products to keep customers happy, build trust and maintain long term relationships with your customers by using our embeddable widgets, knowledge base and email messaging service at one price. OK, so your customer service products, help desk, a help desk widget you can embed in any of your pages to help your customers find answers quickly. OK, so that's maybe like a. Um, I don't know what that is. A knowledge base, a website to help your customers search and find all of your answers and categories. So this is like an FAQ thing, I think. Um, an email, answerly.io email for your company that automatically integrates with the Answerly help desk widget. Okay, so um, you're definitely a customer service product. Work smarter with centralized support. Customers are often looking for answers on their own. A well-structured and centralized knowledge base can decrease the number of support tickets and improve your overall efficiency. Um, fresh and frequent features. So you get the, the widget, personalize the widget. Um, you get SEO, make sure knowledge is always in the front line when it comes to SEO. Conversations, focus on helping your customers. So then you give a free 14 day trial. Um, I'm going to sign up for that 14 day trial. So let's, uh, let's jump in here. Danny Marlon, I'll give you the same email. My to do this 2028 email. It's a real email by the way. So treat me well. Let's do this password. And I agree to your terms. Email me products. No. No credit card needed. Great. Sign up. So I have to remember to cancel this. Um, you don't have my credit card on file anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm just kidding. Um, my laptop is slow, so it's, you know, answer sign in. Don't have an account. Sign up here. What was I? What was my account? My to do list 2020 at Gmail. This password, it has been a long day. But answerly.com.io gets a good review nonetheless. All right, go away. Let's get you started. All right, what is your company? My company is, um, what's my, I think it's a Moonlight MVP. MVP YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. Pick your subdomain uh, Moonlight MVP. Pick your answerly email address. I don't know. Oh, um, uh, let's do uh, let's do uh, Danny Marlin at answerly.io. Um, start my free Start my 14 day free trial. All right, let's check out the forest, the jungle, the the uncharted waters. Let's visit what Ansley has. Um, again, my computer is a little slow, so we can't necessarily blame Ansley for for this delay. I'm going to have to fill in the gap here. Um, Let's see how long it takes. Let's see how long it takes. We are taking a while. I think this is not my computer at this point. This is not. Uh, let's go. Come on, Answer Lee. Come on. Come on, baby boy. Come on, baby girl. Let's go. Set me up. Set me up. Set me up. Set me up. Setting you up. 
that me we are set up success set up complete we are happy to have you on board thank you i am happy to be here now it's gone blank now we have all right now we're in business now we're home now we're home so this is i would imagine the dashboard for my wizardry for my uh for my um my tyranny this is where i conduct my tyranny uh, so what do we have here? We have all right. Let's figure out here now what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to play around with these. It's a pretty good layout. Um, today searches people helped today answers read write and answer create category invite a colleague install the widget. Okay, so. Let's check out what this is. Click new to create an answer or an add a category. And oh, an interesting title. So let's click new. Uh, let's click. What do we want to do? We uh, I'm running a YouTube channel and I need to communicate with my esteemed subscribers, top of the line, premium subscribers, all 30 of them. And um, I need to create a category for, what would I need to create a category for? Um, maybe, uh, maybe I need to, uh, maybe I'm gonna sell some merchandise. I don't know, I'm making shit up over here. I'm gonna sell some merchandise. Merchandise is how you spell that. And let's add. Okay, cool. Now type a short description for the category. This is where I'm going to going to sell shit to my subscribers. Okay. Now, what do I do next? What do I do next? Oh, bottom right. Bottom right. Oh, we've got some formatting here. Okay. Um, I want to add some more then if we can do some formatting. This is where I'm going to sell shit to my subscribers and communicate with them about um, their orders. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that works. Let's, um, let's, let's uh, throw my YouTube channel in there because Oh, wrong company. Where am I? There am I. Uh, can I press enter? No, I can't press enter. Can I go? That's the title. Can I get, is it like a little? No, I'm stuck here. I want to get to the next line. Enter. No next line. Oh, but it's all this space here. I want to write here. This is good stuff. Okay. Well, I'm paste, pasting in. Okay. I can't press enter. So maybe that was like the head or a description. Let's just publish, how about fucking that? Success, category updating successfully. Cool. So now let's go back here and I can't see it because it's somewhere else probably. Let's click here. Let's go find the thing I just created. Uh, where, where is the thing, where's the category? All right, well, I'll, uh, I lost the category, but I'm sure I'll find it again. What do I do next? What's this? Um, so personalized look and feel. The more your knowledge base blends in with the brand, the better. Personalization guides. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure that's something very important. So look and feel, navigation, integrations, other. Okay. Um, this makes a lot of, does it make sense? I think so. Headline, hi there, How? hi there, do you need help? Team color, okay. So I'm guessing that's the first thing the users see on like the embedded widget or something like that. Header logo, I don't have a logo. Footer, it's answer Lee. Um, all right, let's save that, that looks good. No, I'm just, I went, what's up? 
what what's up what you what the fuck do you do you want what's up what's up comma what the fuck do you want I like that really good customer service there really good top notch top notch save oh I already saved it all right now navigation Customize links at the header and the footer. Add your social media platforms. Okay. So links, in, add links in header, links in footer, Facebook, Twitter. Okay. Let's add a YouTube. Can we add YouTube? Uh, um, boom. YouTube channel. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's save it. Let's fucking save that bad boy. Integrations. Who do I want to integrate with? Show Ansley Widget. Yes. Enable Google Analytics. Ooh. That, I'm sure that's great. I, and Google Analytics tracking. Okay. Cool. So if I wanted to run that, what's next? Setting, settings that can't categorize anywhere else can be found here. Knowledge base help. Global CSS, global JavaScript, interesting. So these are the settings, I've just done that. Let's have click on live preview and see what we've got so far. What's up, what the fuck do you want? Okay, good start. It gets gets everyone up in, a, in, in the morning with that question. Our knowledge base contains one category and answers. Search for answers. Oh, okay, so that's where the, I found the category again, yay. This is what, Okay, this is where I'm going to sell shit to my subscribers and communicate with them. Probably shouldn't have these curse words consumer uh, uh, facing, but, you know, it's a free trial, so I'll do it the fuck I want. Our knowledge base contains one category and zero answers. So this is the thing that they would search. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That's cool. So now what if I put some answers into motion? If I'm a... So I need answers in this category. So let me go back. There was a place where I could put answers. How do I put answers? Let's go to home, to my safe place, write an answer. Answer title. Uh, this is a, an answer to your question. Okay, let's add that. Do I put that in a category? This is an answer to your question. This is this is further x x that's not how you spell further further explanation okay so publish that's published what's this thing oh that's just a can i scroll right or no that's a that's just maybe like a tab to tell me that i clicked on that i don't know what that's for oh i see okay so I've wrote, I written, I wrote, I write it, I wrote, I wrote, I think it's I wrote. I have a knowledge base, uh, and okay. So what? But how? Wanna, where did the answer go? Where did my answer go? I bet it's in. It's probably in the knowledge base thing, right? Where would it be? It would be. Uh, live preview where my answer is going to be this is the answer to your question right and it's not doesn't have a category though it doesn't that's not a category that's just an answer got it latest answers so this is filtering by latest answers um so okay so search for answers Merchandise, merchandise, merch. What I want to search, I want to search for a question. Question? Is it found zero answers? Uh, for let's do this. Isn't it? Doesn't it? If this is an answer, and I'm searching answers, and it has the word this in it, and I go this. How does it have zero answers? I don't know. Let's test this out. Let's test it out again. All right, so I'm gonna write an answer and it's gonna be uh, new. 
new answer um answer title um um what am i uh uh how 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 do how do i how do i um how do i uh how do i deal 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 how do i deal with an angry customer okay that's no that what doesn't make sense. how do i deal with a um a the how do i deal with a wrong a wrong order add because that's a question right and then write your answer here um you would um ma mail it back with a note saying wrong fucking size dummy okay that's the answer so publish success great now in the preview if i type search for dummy is it going to be there or if i search for i'm going to search for the word wrong order let's see what happens wrong wrong order this doesn't make sense i can't tell if i'm doing something wrong search maybe it's because it's a preview though maybe the whole preview thing is why it's just not working the way it's supposed to or maybe i'm not using it right who fucking knows but overall it looks like a pretty um pretty awesome platform notify what's this knowledge base health what is notify what is notify let's check out notify is a component for the knowledge base that allows you to quickly notify your customers about future or a product update we want your customers to have a good experience when hearing news about your company and thus we've built notify to be a dynamic and customizable to be dynamic and customizable in the way it looks and feels what's customizable author profile picture background color font color rich text links reports gather data and learn how to create a more helpful knowledge base by making use of the answer leads powerful reports we support answer ratings with account search okay cool avoid repeatable customer service process okay so i'm not 100 percent sure i know what this is but um um i'm sure it's an awesome feature slash add-on let me read that again quickly notify your customers about future or product update okay got it yeah this is awesome this was a great uh product i'm gonna be honest uh i'm not big on either i don't know if it's the font or the thickness of the font or the weight i don't know what the technical term is but the font is weird i don't it it's just I don't know what's going on. The font is weird. Uh, it's too skinny. It's too skinny for me. For me. Um, but yeah, it looks. Uh, aside from that, it's a pretty fucking awesome looking uh, little shindig, you know. Um, you could probably work on the logo a little more, honestly. I don't know if this is the logo or what, but you could probably work on that um yeah it's a pretty awesome platform let me uh let me i'm stuck where am i going so uh, oh we uh we have the email section okay so you can create emails um and i'm imagining the email goes to the customers got that that's called cool, pretty standard uh reports knowledge base visitors per page interesting searches per day this is an answer to your question oh so this is where you can improve or evaluate how good the answers were i like that i would imagine i don't know who would like use like who's the person in the organization that would want to use this i'd imagine that's who you're going for right it's the hedge chief uh senior product 
um, general, whoever the fuck that person is, the person in, pro- in, in the person in charge of saying, "Hey guys, no one's using our product," or the person that says, "Hey guys, our product sucks. We need to make it improvements." The product manager, product developer, I don't know, something in there. But let's uh, let's retreat. Let's go back. Very good. Like it a lot. I think. Um, uh, I don't know if I got to pricing, but if if you guys want to check this out and and you know figure out what pricing is, you're more than welcome to do so. How the fuck do I log out? Where do I go? Where do I log out? I want to log out. Log out. Home. Where do I log out? Company. This is, where do I log out? I want to go. Don't keep me trapped. Don't trap me. Do I, oh, there it is. Boom. So you have to click on you and then log out. Ah, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Um, let's go back to, let's go back to here and find, let's, let's give you guys a shout out on Twitter. Um, hold on a second. Let's give you guys a shout out on Twitter for your awesome work. I wonder where you guys are based. Um, our company careers. Let's check out. Nah, I don't want to put anyone on blast, but let's uh, that's Instagram. I want Twitter. Let's go to Twitter and say great fucking job. If you're watching this video and you uh, need customer customer service platform, uh, I think, oh, your Answerly profile needs a little, your Answerly Twitter account needs a little uh, lipstick, shall I say. Little lipstick, I will follow you. Um, And I'm going to tweet, but you... Your Twitter account needs a little sprucing up, I should say. Great job with this platform. Great job with this platform. Look forward to forward. Look forward to to seeing where it goes. Uh, tweet. Nice work, answerly.io. Good stuff. All right, what do we have next? We have reviews dash CLI dot dev. Um, it says reviews. A terminal UI dashboard to monitor requests for code review across several GitHub repositories. Let me read that again. A terminal UI dashboard to monitor requests for code review across several GitHub repositories. So let's have a look here and see. We have code review manager. Okay, so the person that would be doing this would be the code review manager and they would be, uh, what is this, number, um, labels, difference, activity, approved, mergeable. Okay. So it looks like this is some kind of like triaging um, and review and kind of big picture review of github merges so um i would imagine if you're if you use github quite a lot this might be a useful to, tool for you what does it say all source code is freely available using mit license oh all right so we can view on github let's Let's review on GitHub. Let's see what happens here. All right, 
So this person, what's there? This person has provided their GitHub repository for us. Kyle Harrison, great work, Kyle. Um, so I think he's providing this project for you to use. So if you're a developer or in this case, a code review manager, um, I guess you could use this. It's open source, might be a cool tool for you. Um, I don't use GitHub very often. I do have a project that is hosting our, uh, we're using GitHub and Netlify, which is, um, so I know GitHub is, is very important for developers to kind of merge their code and make sure that someone doesn't fuck something up. And if you do fuck something up, then you have the ability to, uh, someone explained it to me, like with the branches and stuff like that. I don't know. You guys probably know way more than me. Um, I'm like the world's worst developer, but it looks like a cool project. Um, reviews, I'm guessing you put a lot of effort into the product itself. Could probably look a little sexier. This is like, you know, this looks like the terminal. I know developers like that, but you know, maybe you could make it look a little sexier and um, give it like a cooler name than reviews. But aside from that, I'm sure it's great. And uh, once again, uh, open source and free to download. Kyle Harrison, uh, great work. I don't know if you have Twitter, Kyle, so I will just, um, I will show you some love on GitHub. I don't know if you can message on GitHub or not, but let's see, can we message on GitHub? Yes, we can. Oh, we can follow. I don't know if I can follow or not. What's this? Oh, we have a Twitter account. We have a Twitter account. Let's give Kyle's a shout out. Let's give Kyle, the programmer, tech enthusiast, maker, and geeky dad. Great work with, uh, what is it called? It is called reviews. Let's throw in the URL. Great work, great work with reviews. We'll upload video soon. Boom. Nice work, Kyle. Uh, if you ever do make improvements to it, you know, send it my way. We'd love to check out improvements and see how it's progressed. All right, last but not least, the uh, we have pistocop.github, pistocop, and it says pistobot here. So I don't know what the difference is there. Um, let's check, what does this say? Pisto, pistobot says Che Spectacola. I don't know. That's definitely not English. Pisto bots say Dio. Okay, so that's some other language. Um, gentleman here really th wants us to look at him. Great, nice to meet you. Uh, what do you have for me? Let's let's keep. Oh, okay, description. Create an AI that tries to chat like you. Ooh, create an AI that tries to chat like you. Pistobot is my free time project developed during the Italian COVID-19 quarantine. I hear you there. I think a lot of these projects were probably developed during the COVID-19 quarantine. I have a project myself developed while I was at home. All right, and very good opportunity to learn. In a shot, in a shot, get your WhatsApp and Telegram chats Pass them to get machine learning ready data set. Train one of the machine learning models with it. I want one. Use this collab notebook and just follow the instructions. Attention, it's always better to not to run random scripts on personal information like personal chat messages. I guarantee there is no double end, but you can always check and use the native code messaging chat parser and piston bot. More details, results, see the generated chat here. Additional info. Check out the README in the GitHub project. 
contact. All oh, right. So let's go back to the beginning. It's a chat bot. Um, and it talks like you, chats like you. So get your WhatsApp and Telegram chats. I don't have any, pass them to get machine learning. So where am I supposed to start? Where do I go uh, to, let's see what happens here. Check out the README and GitHub project. I can check that out as well. Let's see. Results. We will report here some examples of text generated. They're in Italian because the training data set was my chats. I'm Italian. Understood. The reported examples are cherry picked. An interesting fact. One of the tested models with the GP2 pre-trained was pre-trained in English text and then fine-tuned in my Italian text. The results look like worse than the GP2. Oh, so this is just you um, journaling, I think. Uh, okay. So, how do, let's see, read me. Get your WhatsApp and Telegram data in a nutshell. Pass it using this. Okay, so I don't have any chat, but can I pretend there's chat? Can I make chat up? Uh, okay. Data source. The repository provides Python scripts to pass WhatsApp and Telegram messages. The goal is to obtain text files with a good structure for machine learning. Inputs data to provide WhatsApp text files exported from one or chat how okay so um i would imagine to do this you have to be pretty tech savvy which isn't a problem um if you understand how to uh if you understand how to uh run um can't remember what language it is in. Uh, so here's an example that you're saying, example of a chat in GP2 model trained on my WhatsApp and Telegram message. What, what is GP2? What is GP2? What is GP2? Let's figure out what that is before. That is not what I was looking for. Let's go back. What is GP-2? GP2 versus GP. Open AI, better language models and their implications. So what is we've trained a large scale unsupervised language model which generates coherent paragraphs of text, achieves state of the art performance on many language modeling benchmarks, and performs rudimentary reading comprehension, machine translation, question answering, and summarization, all without task specific training. 
Okay, so this I think is our model called GP2, a successor to GPT, was trained simply to predict the next word in 40 gigabytes of internet text. Due to our concerns about malicious applications of the technology, we are not releasing the trained model. As an experiment in responsible disclosure, we are instead releasing a much smaller model for researchers to experiment with. Okay, so you've used the, the, this uh, model to uh, be a chat bot. We are instead releasing a much smaller model for researchers to experiment with as well as a technical paper. GP2 is a large transformer-based language model with 1.5 billion parameters trained on a data set of 8 million web pages. Damn. GP2 is trained with a simple objective, predict the next word. Okay. Given all the previous words within some text, the diversity of the data set causes the simple goal to contain naturally occurring demonstration of many tasks across the diverse domains. GPT-2 is a direct scale-up of GPT with more than 10 times the parameters and trained on more than 10 times the amount of data. GP2, GPT-2 displays a broad set of capabilities, including the ability to generate conditional synthetic text samples of unprecedented quality, where we prime the model with an input and have it generate a lengthy continuation. In addition, GPT-2 outperforms other language models trained on specific domains like Wikipedia, news, or books without needing to use these domain-specific training data sets. On language tasks like question answering, reading comprehension, summarization, and translation, GPT-2 begins to learn these tasks from the raw text using no task-specific tra training data. While scores on these downstream tasks are far from state-of-the-art, they suggest that the task can, be, can benefit from unsupervised techniques, given sufficient unlabeled data and compute samples. GPT-2 generates synthetic text samples in response to the model being primed with arbitrary input. The model is chameleon-like. It adapts, it adapts to the style and content of the conditioning text. This allows the user to generate realistic and coherent continuations about a topic of their choosing as seen by the following select samples. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So you're using uh, this GP2 uh, and you've built this uh, you've built this chatbot on top. Um, I don't understand how to execute whatever it is you want me to do with uh, with conversations. I don't have examples. I don't know how to download. I don't use those apps and I wouldn't even know how to download those chats even if I did. If you could give me an example or like if you can give me a way to input some like bogus chat or give me a way to just like fill out an input field, then maybe I could play around with it more. Um, it looks great. I don't speak Italian, so I don't really know how like, I don't know how good this is. I'm sure it's great. Uh, um, so, I mean, let's see if I can try and figure it out. So the pencil is message you wrote. The the bot is the response. So you said come say maso compista bot, which I don't know what that means. Um, and the bot says aha ha mail. And you said chata mieglo dit. I'm probably butchering this. I, I'm so sorry. What's your name? I don't remember your name. I'm so sorry. I'm definitely butchering Italian right now. Chata Meglo de T. Smiley face. Robot said C. You said non che non che ci velosa molta. And the robot said matu je dice. All right. So you're clearly chatting with the bot. That's cool. You need to give me a way to play with that because that would be really fun to play with. Um, but it's a cool, it looks like a cool project. Uh, definitely a cool project. If I can get, um, you know, once you've maybe developed it more, send me a link again, and I'd be happy to kind of play around with the tool 
um, Simone Guardate from Bologna. Um, we have a Twitter, so let me give Simone Guardate a shout out. Let's give you a shout out. Would love to kind of see how it progresses. You know, I was able to kind of figure out what you were doing, um, which is pretty cool. But maybe just you know, if you if you figure out how to make it into like some something a dummy could work with, like me, then um, it'd be pretty fun. My computer is like on its last legs right now because I'm running like five programs. Great work, Simone, with what is it? Pisto bot. Um, well, upload video soon. Boom. All right, great work, Simone or Simon, Simone. Um, I look forward to seeing kind of the next iteration. All right, so next we have inmote.com. Uh, and let's kind of check out what we have here. Um, as I said, I'm kind of jumping in. I have no idea what I'm looking at until I look. So it says, stop wasting time with inbox zero. Start focusing on important emails. Okay, so inmote lets you take control of your inbox by managing incoming emails based on your priorities maintain uh, maintain focus take back time and be more productive and then you say try for free i will certainly do that um so are you so i think you're like an email like an email platform maybe um but you say that you can control the inbox which is a pretty big problem uh, i have this problem i have not only 15 to 20 emails, but I have 15 to 20 emails that I have lost control. So pretty good problem there to solve if you are solving it. So you can manage incoming emails. Okay, there's a screenshot of what you have. That looks like a Gmail. So are you, a, I wonder if you're like a Chrome extension rather than an email platform. Maybe, maybe I'll find out, but that I medium like, huh, does this live in Gmail? Is it part of Gmail? Inmote users love the productivity. So um, featured on AppSumo, these people love it. Um, I don't know what they are. Why Inmote? Okay, focus on your email priorities. Smart filters that you work, that smart filters that work for you, I like that. Um, Select the types of emails that are important so you so to you and never miss a beat. In most smart filters make it easy. Um, I think we is that typo. Got a nice little typo there. Good for you. Good for you. Shout out to the typo kings and queens out there. You know, uh, working hard as always. Uh, your v, your VIP list of trusted contacts. Emails from within your organization, such as your boss and colleagues, are always going to be priorities. Prioritized by default. Not so important email folders. Review the not so urgent and less important emails when it is convenient for you, so you're not wasting time in the middle of your workflow. So you're really focusing on saving me time by not having me review or look at not so important. Stop chasing unread emails. Take control of your inbox. No more chasing inbox zero. I've never heard of inbox zero. Is that like a term people use? Inbox zero. Not, no more chasing inbox zero and zero unread emails. Focus on email 
Focus on important emails and filter out the clutter to be reviewed when it is convenient for you, not in the middle of your workflow. This is probably quite important because, and I wonder if you should like lead with this or somehow put this in the middle, like front and center, because that is like, especially for me when I'm working through my emails, I know that I'm going there to get my serious work done. But like if some douchebag is just spamming me or like wasting my time with shit, then I sometimes don't know that until I get there and I'm already opening the email. And by the time I've opened the email and realized this is uh, garbage, I've already wasted that time. So I think maybe you should put this line like front and center or reword it because this line right here makes so much sense, not in the middle of your workflow. An inbox that evolves with you, your InMote dashboard. Keep your inbox up to date by managing your email priorities from your InMote dashboard. Review your suggested contacts to add to your trusted list. Update your trusted contacts and update your smart filter selection. Okay. Enterprise level security, your data, your privacy. InMote smart filters operate at the time an unsolicited email is received by your inbox and never stored on our servers. Only unsolicited emails are scanned and matched against your smart filter selection. InMote uses a secure connection to Outlook and Gmail using OF2, an industry-leading encryption. To learn more about how InMote uses your email data, read our security. Interesting. This is actually a pretty cool idea. This is, um, of all of the uh, links I've tried, this one is actually like hits home. Uh, this hits home for sure. So how do I, can we try for free? Let's do that. Um, sign in with Gmail. Uh, no credit card. Needed, your privacy is important to us. Yeah, I'm sure it is, I trust you. I trust you, I'm too lazy to read that. Sure, you're not mad mad about it. Let's uh, let's sign up and check it out. All right, friendly reminder, my laptop is running like four programs right now. So if it looks slow, blame my laptop. Don't blame innocent, innocent InMote. Sure, their platform is super light and fast. Let's get your priorities in order. We're about to set up your inbox based on the types of emails that are so important to you. To, time to regain control of your email. All right, next. Tell us about yourself, InMote works InMote works best when it is optimized around your workflow and priorities. Please select the answer, the answer which best describes your role. I am, what am I? I am, uh, admin, da, 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 nope, nope. Education training, da, da, da. I am gonna say other, and I'm gonna say um, owner or founder. There we go, boom. Your priority emails, introducing your smart filters. They align with the priorities and types of emails that are important to you. Select the smart filters for your inbox. Anything received that aligns with the selection will always appear in your inbox. Let me read that again. I have a habit of reading and not digesting. Introducing smart filters. They align with your priorities and the types of emails that are important to you. Select the smart filters for your inbox. Anything received that aligns with your selection will always appear. Okay. InMote has analyzed your network of key contacts and companies to stay focused. When a trusted contact emails you, it will always go to your inbox. Emails from unknown contacts are moved to your InMote folder. Got it. So trusted, suggested. Interesting. Okay. 
your inbox to your priorities. Enjoy a more productive inbox that is focused on your priorities. Your new inmote folder has been added to your inbox, ready to be reviewed and on your own terms. You're back in control. I, lo I love this, this preview screen, this like GIF thing you've got going on. I love that. It keeps me like interested because I hate your onboard. Like I hate onboarding in general. It's just annoying because like you have to control what I'm doing. Um, but I love that you're giving me these gifts because I can like, it's like a, ooh, it's like what's what's the future hold for me? This is exciting. So go to in mode. All right. You have 30 days left on your free trial. Okay. Okay. Chillax. Emails received two. So this is where my emails. Uh, emails left in inbox, emails filtered. Okay, incoming emails. E emails received time saved. So. Um, let's change this to last nine months. All right, still only emails, two emails received. Smart filters. Um, select smart filters. Uh, let's see. Meeting notifications. Uh, Select the type of emails you want to prioritize. Once you've made your selection, any incoming email received that is related to your smart filter selection will remain in your inbox. So, payments, yes. This, yes. Your utility reports is in beta. Meeting notifications, I definitely want those. Yes, video conferences. Other professional documents to sign, internal criminal. Online merchants. Terms of service. Activity. Connection requests, direct messages. All right, let's see. So I think, do I save those? Email notifications regarding your payment. How do I save it? I think that's it. I don't have to actually save them. Do I have to save them? I don't see a save button. All right. I don't see a save button, so I just fucking move on. I move on. Now, it did give me an option earlier to go to Gmail. I wonder if there was something I should have done. Should I have gone to Gmail? Should I have gone to Gmail instead? Uh... Let's check out, maybe I should go to my Gmail. So I can add a trusted contact here and I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Kanye, Kanye West is a trusted contact of mine, of course. Uh, and I'm going to say Kanye West's email at gmail.com. If you'd like to add multiple contacts to the same organization, you can simply add the company's domain without username. Oh, that's cool. Instead of entering any, oh, that's really cool. This will eventually, this will ensure that any email coming from the sample company will be marked as a trusted contact. Oh, that's a great uh, feature. So I just added Kanye. Let's search. Yeah, there's Kanye West. Added to my trusted contacts, which is great. So if I get any emails from Kanye, uh, I should be able to see them. Still only two emails.
So if I want to, if I want to, if you'd like to add multiple contacts from the same organization, you can simply add the company's domain without username. Okay. So if I do, if I do Nike.com, at Nike.com, you're saying everyone with that domain will, that's awesome. Okay. If I go back, I'm not sure why I only have two emails here. Maybe that's like something wrong with my email address, but it looks pretty cool. It's a, it's a great looking tool. Um, I have to say of all the tools I've seen today, I think this is uh, probably one I would actually take seriously. Uh, let's see, I wanna, um, um, have a question or concern, maybe you just want to be friends with someone new, either way, send us a message and we'll be happy to answer any questions. Absolutely, I accept your, f Danny Marlin, and my, uh, my to-do list, absolutely, um, what's my company, uh, Moonlight MVP, so, uh, department, um, what department? Um, YouTube department. Um, hey, I just wanted to be friends. Great job building. Emote would love to. Uh, would love to see how it progresses. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. How about a plug inside of a plug? Why not? Absolutely, why not? Let's throw my domain in there. Why not? I reviewed your, reviewed your, I reviewed your platform. And let's, uh, let's correct some of these spellings because I want you to have a good impression of me. All right, I am indeed not a bot. Great job, Inmote team. I'm gonna submit. Great job, Inmote team. Let's not forget to do something very important. Let's let's tweet in moat. Um, great job, great work building in moat. In moat, M O A T. Love the name. Would like to learn more about that. Great job. Uh, excited. To see where it goes. And let's throw in the URL. Let's sign out. Let's go back to Emote. Great job in most people.